More updates tonight from Corpus Christi City and Oasis County leaders as they held their daily COVID-19 news briefing. Our Mariah Gallegos tells us what some of those key takeaways were from earlier today. Today, uh, I get to say to you that Hurricane Hannah, um, we fared well because there was no loss of life. But I cannot say the same for Hurricane COVID-19. While many of the city and county leaders continue to express their efforts in the Hurricane Hannah recovery during the COVID-19 briefing, they also expressed their condolences for the recent deaths from COVID-19. While we were experiencing Hurricane Hannah, as I said over the course of the weekend, we lost 16 lives and we keep losing lives. So we're not going to win this battle until we see the fatalities disappear. Today, Nueces County reported six COVID-related deaths, one of those being a local doctor. My deepest condolences to um, all of the family at HCA and um, Doctors Regional and Bay Area, uh, losing a, a just a valued member of our healthcare community is especially painful. Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales also had a message for Claiborne County Judge Rudy Madrid on their loss of one of their own. On behalf of Nueces County, we are equally um, in pain over the loss of your county commissioner also to COVID-19 today. During the briefing, city leaders focused on the rising number of cases and deaths. These numbers are still atrociously high and we need to uh, work as a community to get them back down to zero. All saying that the community must continue to contribute to slowing the spread of the virus and take safety precautions anytime they leave their homes as the reported new seven day average is at 257 new cases every day. The continual loss of lives is very concerning and heartbreaking to us all. Mariah Gallegos, 3 News.